Again, Chicago Public Schools had to cancel classes because school officials and the teachers union can't agree on a COVID safety plan. Glenn Marshall is here with an update. Good morning, Glenn. Hey, good morning, guys. Like you guys said, day four of this battle between the Chicago Teachers Union and the mayor. CTU is still calling for remote learning while the mayor is sticking her ground fighting for students to be in the classroom. Now, this fight has cost more than 330,000 students four days of education throughout Chicago. The latest in the battle is this. The union proposed teachers go back to the classroom today and then start remote remote learning on Wednesday in person teaching could start back up after the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. The mayor did not agree with this idea. I'm doing everything I can uh, to make sure that that happens. And to be clear, uh, what the T Chicago Teachers Union did was an illegal walkout. They abandoned their posts and they abandoned kids and their families. CTU is also asking for testing to happen before students return to the classroom. Now, both sides have already agreed on the KN95 masks for all students and staff, bringing health screeners back in some schools, substitute teacher incentives, as well as unpaid leave for teachers and staff. But another deadlock is on when school would flip to remote learning in case of a COVID outbreak. Now, while that fight continues, students and parents are taking a hit. Kids are not being educated and parents are left figuring out daycare for their children. They're hoping an end to this battle is near. This is the third time that my kids have been out of school due to a disagreement between the union and the district. Um, and it's, I think it's really time for, um, you know, the, the, the two sides to work together as opposed to this back and forth battle. Now, yesterday, Chicago's public health department officials met with parents online. Parents were told outbreaks have happened inside schools, but they were minor. And we're also told being in school does not make it likely for students to get COVID. We're also hearing that Mount Greenwood Elementary School will defy CTU and CPS by having teachers and staff hold in-person learning for students. Of course, we'll keep you updated on that as we receive more information on that. For now, we're going to send it back to you guys at the desk.